AI product management is one of the hottest roles in tech right now. Companies like Netflix are offering salaries up to 7 crore rupees for AI product managers. But what exactly is an AI product manager and how is it different from a traditional product manager? Well, that's exactly what I'm going to talk about in this video. I'll break down what this role is all about, what are the skills required for becoming an AI product manager and how you can become an AI product manager even without an AI background. So watch this video till the end. So let's start with the basics. What is an AI product manager and how is it different from the traditional product managers? Well, an AI product manager is usually responsible for overseeing products or features that involve artificial intelligence or machine learning. This could mean anything from the launch of an AI powered tool like GitHub Copilot, which helps you write code, or to integrating smaller AI features into your product, like generating emails using Gemini inside Gmail in Google. And this role specifically rose up in the last couple of years after the launch of large language models or LLMs because it made integrating AI into products extremely simple. Well, how is this different from a traditional PM role? Well, the traditional product manager is responsible for the product strategy, product vision, the user needs, the market fix, the UX, all the essential stuff, right? But AI product managers go a step further by dealing with data requirements, model training, model accuracy, and also the high level of uncertainty that comes with developing AI capabilities. As an AI product manager, you need to be really comfortable with working with data scientists, AI researchers and machine learning engineers to ensure that the AI aspects of your product actually meet real user needs and actually meet the real demands of the customers. So this role requires a solid understanding of both product strategy as well as a technical understanding of AI. For example, let's imagine that you are a product manager working on a customer support chatbot at Amazon. A traditional PM will look into how its interface, how its design, how is this meeting the user needs and all, is this basic FAQs to solve it or not. But an AI product manager building an LLM based chatbot would go much deeper than this. They are responsible for training the model to handle complex customer queries, data to collect data, to collect data, to data to accuracy check accuracy and also ensuring that LLM the output there that is in line with the user's needs. And this involves continuously working with the AI researchers to ensure that you are continuously improving the AI chatbot's capabilities and that it's able to handle the real world interactions very efficiently. And this makes this role a bit technical than traditional product management role. So now that we understand what an AI product manager actually does, what are the different skills that is necessary for you to become an AI product manager? Now of course there are the foundational product manager skills that is usually required in these roles which is product lifecycle management, user center design banana, UX samajna, project management karna. I've mentioned all of the free resources for you to learn in these videos go check it out you can check it out in the description also but with AI this means continuous iteration this means model accuracy check karna, data collect karna, ensuring the data quality is good wo check karna, and bettering the model based on the feedback that you receive from the customers now of course data is at the heart of AI so knowing how to work with data data quality data accuracy model training all of that is extremely important for you to become a product manager but from where do you actually learn these things so I'll share my roadmap which I followed in my college to learn about AI and machine learning. So I always recommend starting with Andrew Ng's machine learning course. It's the de facto 101 course. It's great for starters and really helps you understand what machine learning is all about and what AI is all about. So go check it out. After you have done that course, go check out the deep learning specialization that is by Andrew Ng. All of these are available on Coursera. I'll put the links down in the description. Through this course, you'll also get familiar with natural language processing, which is NLP, especially if you're dealing with text-based applications. And then finally, start learning on LLMs or large language models and RAGs which is retrieval augmented generation. These models and concepts are changing the AI landscape and it's extremely important for you to know all of these things. Where do you learn these things? Well personally I love Andrej Karpati's free videos on YouTube. Well he was the co-founder as well as the former AI researcher of OpenAI. He left OpenAI and started making videos on LLMs so go check them out. I'll link everything in the description. Now once you've gotten a handle of all of these things I'll recommend you to start building projects. Projects like image classifiers, simple chatbots or recommendation systems. These projects will give you hands-on experience and also you'll be able to see the AI in action. Now finally, how do you actually break into AI product management? Now if you're a developer like me or a data scientist so coming from a technical role into AI product management, I think it's pretty much straightforward. It's something that I did last year when I switched from being a software engineer at Amazon to become an AI product manager at Super AGI. So if you're a developer or a data scientist, you probably have the technical skills. You just have to brush up on the different AI concepts or LLMs or Neaj or Chalra AI landscape. You have to get up to date with all of those things. So just brush up on those concepts and then you can just start learning on the fundamentals 
fundamental aspects of product management like i said the free resources are there in the description go check them out and that is good enough for you to break into ai product management after the technical skills you mostly need to focus on the fundamental product manager skills that is required for you to become a ai product manager uske liye maine kafi videos bana chuke go check in the description i've mentioned all the videos that i've done so far and after you have done all the studying now is the time to build a strong portfolio and in this portfolio you can do case studies of all the popular ai tools that are out there chat gpt claude and all the other tools that is there as well you can also try building your own side project any side project agar ai powered ho wo to aur badi hai try to get some real customers try to get some real revenue recruiters love this when you actually try to build a product and fail or succeed unko farak nahi padta it only matters to them that you have tried building something that means you know the nuances and that means you are ready to become an ai product. product manager For example if you're working in a cloud product consider adding AI powered recommendation or predictive analytics in your product dheere dheere chote chote AI features ko banana start karo pitch karna start karo and then you can officially move into from PM to an AI PM role identify areas in your product where AI can actually enhance the user experience can i add something like fraud detection a recommendation system a chatbot or any of the common use cases that is there already in this world and is working out there obviously start small chota sa data set lo and try to build a small mvp around that. and try to pitch that to your higher ups you don't really need to build the next chat gpt a small ai features that is improving the user experience by miles is good enough for you to become an ai product manager well this was it guys i really hope this video gave you a breakdown of what ai product management is and how you can become an ai product manager if you found this video helpful don't forget to hit the like button comment down below what other videos do you want me to make and of course subscribe to this channel for more such videos